The growing church in Asia will be well represented at the hands of Cardinal Oswald Gracias, Archbishop of Bombay. He's one of eight cardinals Pope Francis chose to advise him on reforming the governance of the church. I was surprised and uh, humbled, but of course if the Holy Father wanted any assistance, I was ready to give that assistance and I hope I'm able to help. Uh, I don't know how much I could help, honestly. Gracias has been the Archbishop of Bombay, his hometown, since 2006. And Benedict XVI made him a cardinal the following year. The cardinal is well known as an outspoken critic of violence against women in India and also for promoting inter-religious dialogue. During their first meeting, he hoped Pope Francis will take into account the needs from each corner of the world. He will be the one deciding, evidently, but we can bring the, aspect, the aspirations of the local people, uh, the expectations of the world, uh, what is the, the mentality of different cultures. Uh, I come from Asia. Asia is so very different from uh, the rest of the world. Uh, Asia, we've got India and China, which together are about 30% of the world's population. Now, again, that's a very big uh, segment. The cardinal is 68 years old, and he says he feels the church is living through historic times ever since the election of Pope Francis. But it's, 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 it's exciting. I think we're living in exciting times. The Holy Father is opening the door, uh, like John the 23rd, and allowing uh, the outside and expectations to come in and trying to respond, make the church really relevant to the times. Asia is home to 11 percent of the world's Catholics. And Cardinal Gracias is one of 11 cardinal electors from that continent.